the first filter we're gonna go over in today's snipe filter video is the phenoms cheapest filter man no color put your theme to phenoms you want to find the cheapest card on your console which on xbox the cheapest are going for 5000 mt man what you want to do is work the scroll is what i suggest because there are so many more expensive cards that you can find on here so 4700 this is a great example if there's three up like this you obviously don't want to work this three scroll just put your maximum buyout down 50 mt cheaper than the one than the cheapest price refresh on here so you have the best chance to see the more expensive cards and you just want to snipe these cheaper pink diamonds for like 4k and below michael carter williams austin rivers so you don't want to snipe these those are both the cheaper cards and those aren't snipes you want to snipe them if they pop up for 4k otherwise snipe anybody else that pops up on these on the scroll before we get into the rest of the filters for the most reliable and cheapest 2k23 mt hit up my sponsor at nba2king.com and use code grinds for five percent off also if you need any grinding services contact rose nba on twitter the link is in the description the next filter we're going to go over is the jonathan bender hard scope filter man this is a pink diamond card who is a bid just like taco was man jonathan bender he's going for about 175,000 right now on xbox man you want to go ahead and put your minimum buyout to 500 and just keep refreshing man and snipe him if he pops up for any price point Make sure you check his price before you start working this filter just in case he goes down or becomes not a bid you want to snipe him you know if he gets down to like 100k you want to snipe him for like 80k and below just monitor this but this is a great filter man i already got a few snipes on here earlier the next filter that we're going to go over is the galaxy opal phenoms cheapest filter find the cheapest card on your console man you want to set your color to galaxy opal put your theme to phenoms find the cheapest card which on xbox is going for about twenty three thousand right now Again, I would suggest working the scroll with the cheapest card up because there is a lot of more expensive opals that can pop up on here, like Paolo, like Evan Mobley. Um, so definitely work the scroll so you have a better chance of sniping the more expensive cards. You wanna go ahead and pick up John Wall if he pops up for like, you know, 20,000 and below, man, and resell him for 23. Uh, any of the other, make sure you check the pricing for these cheapest cards, man. 23, four, you wanna grab them for like 19, 20,000. And then anybody else that pops up, any of the more expensive opals like Evan Mobley. See, there's a snipe right there. Give me, oh, I missed it. That's tough. Evan Mobley, man, this is a great filter because the cheapest opal is like 13,000 MT, man. So should get a lot of few pop-ups for John Wall and the cheaper opals, man. So give this a try. The next filter we're going to go over is the TJ Warren Hardscope, man. Put your name to TJ Warren. Put your color to Pink Diamond. You want to find the cheapest card on your console, which on Xbox is going for about 39,000, man. So you want to go ahead and bring your maximum buyout down to 33,000, somewhere around there. Just keep refreshing. Same if he pops up. Again, he's a pink diamond card that sells for 40,000 MT, man. So he will pop up frequently for around five, six, seven thousand, which is the cheapest price of pink diamond idols filter, man. Give this a try. Make some good MT on this filter. The next filter we're going to go over is one we haven't talked about in a while. I kind of just keep forgetting to put it in the videos, but this is still a great filter, man. The gold series two filter. Put your color to gold. Put your theme to 23 NBA series two, man. You want to find the cheapest card on your console, which on Xbox right now is going for about 2250, man. 2200 MT. You want to go ahead and bring your maximum buyout down to 1500. Just keep refreshing. I mean, you can do like 1700 even if you want. Uh, just keep refreshing snipe anything that pops up and then make sure you check the price because they all do vary some of these are more rare than other ones etc etc give this a try it's a great filter you can make a lot of mt on here quickly the next filter we're going to go over is the pink diamond cheapest filter man set your color to pink diamond find the cheapest card on your console which on xbox is going for about 2400 mt right now what you want to do is bring your maximum buyout down to 2000 mt and just keep refreshing man snipe anything that pops up if you do get any snipes and you can afford to hold on to them, and I would recommend holding on to them. Pink diamonds have been crashing down in price every pack drop and then going back up to like 3,500 or more MT. So you get sniped for 2K, hold on to them, man, for, for you know, a few days and then sell them for 3,300, 3,400, somewhere around there. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I just picked some up, man. So let's go. We just got a Tristan Thompson for 1850, man. He is probably at least still like 3K, man. That's a W snipe. The next filter we're gonna go over is the diamond cheapest filter. Set your color to diamond. Find the cheapest card on your console, which on Xbox is going for about 1850, 1900, 1950, somewhere around there, man. Uh, they're selling for 2000. Uh, so what you wanna do is bring your maximum buyout down to 1500 MT. Just keep refreshing, snipe anything that pops up and then check its price and sell it for what it's going for. The next filter we're gonna go over is the Galaxy Opal cheapest filter, man. What you wanna do is set your color to Galaxy Opal uh looks like bots are buying every opal in the game for 13.8 thousand mt right now 
So you want to go ahead and bring your maximum buyout down to 12,000 MT, man, and just keep refreshing. Snipe anything that pops up and then check its price. If it's just the cheapest one, post it up for 13.8K and it will sell every 15 minutes to a robot. The next filter we're going to go over is the Evan Mobley Hardscope, man. Set your name to Evan Mobley. Put your color to Galaxy Opal. You want to find the cheapest card on your console, which on Xbox is going for 75,000 MT, which is super expensive for an Opal, man. We just went over the Opal filter. The cheapest is 13 point eight K man which means if he pops up someone looks up the cheapest opal price ooh we and he puts up Evan Mobley for 14k you're making tons and tons of profit man what I would do on this is set my maximum buyout down to sixty five thousand I guess is what I would do you could do sixty sixty five thousand is still a nice profit man but more than more than likely he's gonna pop up for much cheaper 20 30 40 K a lot of the times man work this filter this is not, I tell you guys all the time, these hard scope filters aren't filters that are gonna pop off every five minutes. You won't be getting a snipe more than likely, but when you do get a snipe, you'll be making 20,000 profit, 15,000 profit, 40,000 profit, man. I love these hard scope filters, man. I reckon I recommend you guys try them out for sure. The next filter we're gonna go over is the Brandon Ingram hard scope filter. Set your name to Brandon Ingram, put your color to Galaxy Opal, find the cheapest card on your console, which on Xbox is going for about 45,000, man. You wanna go ahead and bring your maximum buyout down to about 38 and a half thousand mt man and just keep refreshing snipe anything that pops up i mean he'll it'll just be brandon ingram it's a hard scope filter snipe him if he pops up man again he should pop up pretty frequently for around 20 30 thousand mt because of the cheapest opal price man give this a try it's another great option if the mobley filter is dry and the last filter we're gonna go over in today's video is the dark matter filter man set your color to dark matter Put your minimum buyout to 500, man, and just keep refreshing and snipe anything that pops up, man. You can make so much MT on this filter if you get a snipe. This filter has been going crazy on PS, man. From what people have been telling me, they have been seeing a lot, a lot of dark matters. Doesn't seem to be the case so much on Xbox, man. Uh, but give this filter a try. Everything on here is a snipe. There's now 19 cards you can snipe on this filter, man. 19 dark matters that can pop up, which means it should be getting more and more active every day that goes by, man. So give this a try get a snipe on it man you can make 500 700 800 thousand empty profit on this filter good luck on the filters today guys man i hope you enjoyed if you want to check a recent snipe challenge out man click the video that's popping up on screen jay grinds out <laughs>